Hello, welcome to the clinic. I have a vital set of face eye measurements to take today, so your job is to relax. Keep your glasses on. Just look towards my face. Just checking the segment height of the bifocal requirements there. And for the other side, excellent. Double checking this side. Back to the left. Segment height, thank you. Okay. I have two rulers here. I'm going to place it just on the plane of the brow. Okay, just relax. Bring that in there, that's checking the temple width, lovely, and if we go like this, it's going to check the head width, that there, and just bring this ruler in, so just touching the side of the face there. Okay, looking what we have next. Right, I'm just going to place this little cursor just behind the ear and take an angular measurement. This is the downward angle of drop. So on that side, that's about 30 degrees. And just behind the left ear. Twenty five degrees, thank you. I'm just going to place this behind the ear this way and read off the scale here. So this is the length to tangent measurement. Length to tangent. And just on this side. Good. Okay, if we flip it this way, we're going to do length to bend and angle of side. Forward. Excellent. And the angular measurement is about 20 degrees there. And for this side, please. And the length to bend there. Excellent. So that was length to bend and angle of side. Prior to that was length to tangent. Okay, moving on. We must do the splay angle next. So let's bring this like this. Now this uh, larger line there out of the three is going to be just lined up in the middle of the nose there. And if I just bring that in nose slightly. Good. So that's on the right side. And for the left side there. Touching the nose, thank you. That was the splay angle. Now we have the frontal angle where we just have to orientate the scale like this. And just bring this to about there. I'll just bring the cursor in. We have nasal contact. 
locked there. And for the left side, please. Just want that about there. Stitching on the left side there. And we have a nice angular measurement there, thank you. Turn to the left, just going to check the bridge projection and turn to the other side. Okay, it seems you have a positive bridge projection. So I'm just going to place this here, just gently like so. And just flip that there. Going to bring it in to just touch the eyelashes, and I'll take the measurement of the scale for you there. Okay. So if you're ready, just look down slightly. Okay. Tag a blink, and blink again. Can you feel the cursor there? Okay, and blink. Did you feel the cursor there? Touch the lashes. Excellent. So, bridge projection positive. Excellent. And next up. Okay, very simple one. This is apical radius. I'm going to use the grooves here to find the most snug fit on the bridge. Okay, does that feel tight there? And how does that one feel? I think this one is a little loose, so I'm going to opt for the 8mm radius there, thank you. Okay, I'm just going to rest this on the top of the nose. I'm going to do something called the crest height. If I rest that there, check from the left side, and double checking there please, 8, 8 plus 5, 13, and for the other side please, just rest this here, crest height on the right side there, about the same, 8 millimeters. We'll add 5 to that. We require 13. Okay, next set of measurements. We're going to do distance between rims. Let's get the cursor the correct way. Okay, I'm just going to place this on the nose. Just come there and just relax. I'm just going to bring the cursor in there. Do we have the contact? That's 15 millimeters below. DBR, just double checking. Okay, so DBR, 15 millimeters below crest. We're going to flip it and do it at 10 millimeters. There, let's try that. I always like to 
double check this one I just want slightest contact with your own face excellent and moving on let's take a pupillary distance measurement looking into this eye please and this eye this one just here here and here 64 millimeters and just looking at the tip of my finger also double check that measurement in here it's about 60 millimeters in here some pupil size measurements just looking straight start with the right eye there excellent and for the left eye please keep looking straight is going to be for iris diameter and start at the larger end of the scale just keep looking straight off into the distance and it's about 12 millimeters there and let's go to the other side And that's 12 again, thank you. And let's find the next scale. Okay, just looking straight again. Got to check the monocular pupillary distance there, right and left. Excellent, that's about 32 on the right, 32 on the left, thank you ok, I have a nice little scale here it's a vertical scale just look towards my open eye there, thank you, the vertical Palpebral aperture there, good. So if you can do it on the other side there, look into this eye please. Which are nice and symmetrical so far, that is about 13 millimeters. Okay, what else do we have next to measure? Just looking to the side, I want to check the width of the ear and the total height of the ear because ears can grow as we age and the width of the left ear there and just the height of the ear Thank you. Keep looking straight ahead. I'm just going to check the eyelash length. Good. Be careful not to touch the eye. It's going to come in laterally there. A little more 
I just check the eyelash measurement. Lovely, thank you. Okay, just pop your glasses back on for me. Just want to double check this length to bend measurement. Thank you. And on the left side, thank you. Okay, I'm just going to have a little feel behind the ears, just to ensure that there isn't too much wear against the mastoid process. Thank you, good. With the glasses on, I'm just going to check the pantoscopic tilt. And the pantoscopic tilt on the left side. Excellent, just lower the head. Let's have a little feel of the glasses, just to ensure that they're not sliding down. Excellent, record those. And then I'll get the varifarcles, sorry, the bifarcles, ordered into those. Okay, so that's all the measurements. Give me two weeks. We'll give you a call when the glasses have arrived back. Thank you.